This is part 5 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the template and template URL properties of the component decorator. This is continuation to part 4, so please watch part 4 before proceeding. Within Visual Studio right here, we have the same example that we worked with in our previous video. At the moment, we have our view template in line in the .ts file which contains our TypeScript code. At the moment, we have the view template HTML in a pair of backtick characters. So the obvious first question that comes to our mind is, can't we use a pair of single or double quotes instead of backtick characters? The answer is yes, but only as long as you have the view template HTML in a single line. Since in this case, we have the view template HTML in a single line, we can replace this pair of backtick characters with a pair of single quotes like that. Let's save our changes and let's reload our web page by pressing Ctrl R. Notice the application works exactly the same way as before. Now, even if we replace this pair of single quotes with a pair of double quotes, it's still going to work exactly the same way as before. So the next obvious question that comes to our mind is, when should we be using a pair of backtick characters instead of single R double quotes? The answer is, if you have the view template HTML in more than one line, then you will have to use a pair of backtick characters. Otherwise, you will get an error. Let's actually prove that. Let's format this HTML so it's in more than one line. On the first line, we have our opening H1 element. On the second line, we have our data binding expression. And on the third line, we have the closing H1 element. Notice here, we have got red squiggly lines indicating that we have an error. Let's save our changes. Let's reload this web page and see what happens. Notice, it displays the message loading app component content here, but nothing happens beyond that. Let's launch browser developer tools by pressing F12. We are on the console tab and notice we have an error which says invalid or unexpected token. Now let's replace this pair of single quotes with a pair of backtick characters. Notice the error goes away immediately. Let's save our changes and let's reload our web page. Notice now the application works as expected. So, if you have the view template HTML in a single line, then you can use single quotes, double quotes, or backtick characters. But if you have the view template HTML in more than one line, then you can only use a pair of backtick characters like this. With an inline view template, we have two disadvantages. The first one is we lose Visual Studio Editor, IntelliSense, code completion, and formatting features. Let's prove that. So right here, we have an inline view template. For example, let's say I want to include a span element right here. Notice I don't get any IntelliSense whatsoever. Code completion is also not there. And we also lose the formatting feature. Let's say for example, if we have this data binding expression hello name like this. Now, when I press Control KD to format the HTML, nothing happens. So we have lost the formatting feature as well. So that's the first disadvantage of using an inline view template. The second one is when this inline view template HTML is mixed up with the TypeScript code, then it's not easier to read and understand the TypeScript code. Here we only have three lines of HTML. But imagine if you have a lot of view template HTML intermingled with the TypeScript code, then it's not going to be easier to read and understand that TypeScript code. So let's move this view template to a separate HTML file. So the first step here is to add the HTML file itself. Now we know the TypeScript file that is app.component.ts is present in the app folder. So I'm going to place our HTML file also in the same folder. So let's right click on the folder, add, and we want to add an HTML page. Let's name our page app.component.html, click OK. This adds the HTML file. Now we want to move our view template HTML into this separate HTML file. Now the benefit of this is that we get Visual Studio IntelliSense code completion and formatting features. Look at this. If I have to include a span element, notice I get IntelliSense and when I press tab now, it auto completes it and when I type the closing Angular bracket, 
look at that it also provides us with the closing span element and we also have great formatting feature so for example if we have the HTML like that without any indentation at this point if I press control K D simultaneously notice the HTML code is auto formatted for us so we have our view template HTML in a separate HTML file now we need to reference this within our dot ts file now to reference the HTML file we use a different property and that is template URL and then we specify the path for our app.component.html file and this path is relative to index.html so index.html is present in the source folder but app.component.html is present in the app folder so template URL is going to be app for slash app dot component dot html let's save our changes and reload the web page notice it works exactly the same way as before so if you have the view template in a separate html file then you reference the html file within your typescript file using the template url property so with an external view template we have visual studio editor intellisense code completion and formatting features available and not only the code in our TypeScript file is clean but it is also easier to read and understand when it is not intermingled with the view template HTML. Thank you for listening and have a great day.